Welcome to the dissecting and decoding of the CombiLog from Burgwächter, which is a four-wheel combination padlock with four skates. The model is 8840 fun and that's also the motto of this video because I want to share with you the fun on decoding. It will be a three-part video. Part one will be the disassembling of a lock of the same type, this lock here. I will show you what's inside and how the parts interact and this will enable us to derive a method for decoding it. In part 2 we will have some fun decoding this lock and in part 3 we will have even more fun getting this lock back together. And I will take the chance to explain how changing the combination on these locks work. So be prepared for some fun. In order to take these locks apart, you have to remove this cap and I've done this before using a vise. And now it's not as tight as before anymore and I can just use the shackle and put this little nose here in the hole and get this cap off and then I can remove the shackle and all the parts come apart. We have the four wheels, the four outer wheels, which are of less interest right now. Then we have four ball bearings and four springs which make these little clicks when you turn the wheels. They are also not interesting right now. And what is left is the shackle with the four inner wheels and the, that's the cap, with the four, how can I say, teeth. These teeth um, have to go through the grooves in this uh, lock here. And when we shine a light in here we can see the gates of all four levels. On the left hand side this deep cutout is the true gate and the four shallow cutouts around are the false gates. When we inspect the teeth of the inner wheels really close we can see that the top is not of rectangular shape, it's more like a step. So it goes straight down and straight again. And I think this is meant to be caught in the false gates. Let me quickly reassemble this lock partially to demonstrate what I mean. So now this, this tooth is between gates and when we pull on the shackle we can feel the resistance of the longer part of the step scratching um, on the surface. Now at the false gate it falls into the gate with the longer part of the step and the outer part, the shorter part of the step now scratches along the surface. When we now pull on the shackle we are caught because the, the longer part of the, of the step um, stops at the end points um, of the false gate while the uh, shorter part of the step scratches along the surface. So this gives a typical type of resistance when uh, dealing with false gates. And that's the measure of the lock makers to destroy the feedback on the locks when trying to pull pick them. But it's also an opportunity for us to distinguish between true and false gates because now when we pull on the shackle we can cause the, the wheel really to stuck. The type of uh, resistance it gives is so much that the wheel actually stops uh, turning left and right from the actual position and this is different to what the wheel would do at the true gates position. So when we are here at this place you can see how much play this gate actually has and no matter how hard we pull on the shackle we will always get this play at, at the wheel and so we can distinguish between true and false gates. What makes life a little bit more complicated 
is the fact that when we pull on the shackle we can also cause these inner wheels to scratch at each other and so we will still have a resistance at the true gate but this is remarkably different to what we feel when being caught in a false gate. So enough of the theory, let's start decoding. So currently we have all zeros as combination. I turn around the shackle at 180 degree, push it down and this allows me to change the combination. I change it to a new combination that I don't know. Just make sure that the wheels are at a number and not in between. I release the shackle, turn it around, close the lock and shuffle the wheels. So now what I first do in order to decode it, I pull on the shackle, not quite hard but just a little bit, and now I turn all the wheels to get in one gate. True or false, I don't care. If it stops and has a little bit of play left and right from the stop point, that's fine. So I know I'm in a gate. I'm actually not testing the resistance now, but just want to achieve this initial state. Okay, so now we are in a gate, true or false, and now we want to test uh, which is which. So I pull on the shackle again and see what the wheels say. So this is loose, has a lot of play left and right. That means either we are in a true gate or the wheel is currently not binding. This is also loose, this is somewhat loose, and this stuck. So I turn by two numbers because gates are on every second number. I pull on the, on the shackle again, and still this is stuck. So second is also not quite moving. Uh, the, the third, I mean. This is good, this is good. So this gives the most resistance. I turn it. Still, so now the, the third is giving resistance, I turn it, still, 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 Now it has become a little bit looser. I test all the other wheels. Not quite sure. Maybe the first. Now it's loose. Now this is loose. This is somewhat loose. This is giving the most resistance. Now this stuck and it's open. Yeah, so much fun decoding combination locks. All right, and now we will have at least as much fun reassembling this one. So here are all the parts of the lock that I need to put together again. But before I want to show you how changing the combination on these locks actually work. Therefore I only need the lock body, the shackle and one of these outer wheels. I want to quickly reinsert the shackle in the lock body. Align all the teeth at one angle. And now I'll be able, hopefully, to slide it in at the position of the deep cutout. Okay, that worked out pretty good. Now I have to tighten the cap because this is part of the mechanism. So lock is in the closed state, but it's still the right combination entered, so to speak. In this state I can turn the wheels, as you can see, and that would be to uh, change the code so that the lock is actually locked up. Yeah. And this would be done by the uh, outer wheels. You can see they have spikes on the top and these spikes have a bit of a width so currently the outer wheels would be able to turn the inner wheels. Now let's open up the lock, move this back to the right position and you can see now it 
now this little nose here on the shackle rides um, along the edge and doesn't go down anymore and that's good because now the uh, teeth of the inner wheel have um, moved into uh, grooves on top of them and that means um, that I cannot change the, uh, the code anymore. So if the lock is in the open state um, these wheels um, cannot turn anymore and that's good because then um, the combination cannot be changed accidentally when the lock is open. Now I turn it at 180 degree and there is again a groove on the cap and if I push it down you can see it can be pushed further than before. So before in the uh, closed state it looks like this and at 180 degree it looks like that which means there is a remarkable gap here on the top and that's causing the uh, teeth of the inner wheel and the spikes of the outer wheel to disengage and now I can turn the outer wheel freely without being disturbed by the uh, inner wheel so that's the mechanism that allows to change the combination and once I'm done with changing the combination I can pull on the shackle, turn it 180 degree, close it and I have a lock with a different combination. So now let's fully reassemble this lock. Okay, it's completely reassembled. We are in the change position of the shackle. Now we can change the code to a very nice code and close it. Doesn't work. Now it works. The cap was not aligned correctly, so I can open it, I can close it, I can shuffle the wheels, lock is locked up, I can change the code to the correct one, and the lock will hopefully open. Alright, so we are done. That was dissecting and decoding of the Combi lock from Burg Wächter, a four wheel combination padlock with false gates. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, happy picking and decoding. Cheers and bye bye!